Welcome back. <laughs> Are you ready for a slap? <laughs> To go right from the beginning, uh, obviously uh, in Japan, izakayas are extremely common. Uh, they're everywhere, mm. so that means there's a lot of competition. Every izakaya mm. wants to have their own special mm. something to uh, compete with the other bars to mm. offer something unique to bring in those customers and, of mm. course, make more money. <laughs> so there was one particular mm. bar uh, which decided to offer a special service. The slap. They didn't just slap everyone. This wasn't <laughs> uh, a free for all. This was only uh, if you paid a little extra yeah. and you specifically asked for the slap, you could get mm -hmm. a slap. I think on the cheek. Did it mention I exactly where? I think cheek, it was on yes. the cheek yeah. from the owner herself. And this was wildly popular. They were queuing out the door just to come in and order a special slap mm -hmm. from the izakaya owner. Um, this ha this started quite a while ago, and the bar made quite a big name for itself. But unfortunately, at the end of the bar, at the end of the bar, at the end of <laughs> it the might article, be the end. <laughs> well, no, no, the bar is still open. Yeah. They're still yeah. doing well, but they don't offer the slaps anymore. I wonder why they stopped. Yeah, there was no explanation about why the slapping got ended. But uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. um, a, an interesting piece of yeah. Japanese legend, I guess, mm -hmm. the formerly slappy bar. Mm. In Japan, um, makes me wonder if anyone else, uh, what other, you know, uh, interesting yeah. or unusual, special mm -hmm. quirks or special mm -hmm. services that other bars uh, have started mm -hmm. to offer. If slaps are on the menu, I guess that <laughs> opens it wide up. Yes, slaps are back on the <laughs> menu, boys. <laughs> maybe they will return yeah. one day. Yes. Mm -hmm. so maybe the woman, maybe her arm got tired or something. <laughs> or it's like so powerful now <laughs> that she can't slap or else it kills people. She's like, I can't do this anymore. I'm just too strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could be. <laughs> okay, so so this was a pretty unique experience, but you know, I'm sure in your travels, John, you perhaps okay. have come across some other mm. interesting, unexpected, unique experiences in bars. Mm. You would think so. Oh. I haven't really gone to bars a lot, so the unique experience I've noticed coming to Korea mm. is what this is kind of talking about as a kind of going around saying slappy hour. There's something called happy hour. Mm. Happy hour is not really a thing that I've seen in Korea. Now it's True. popping up but because of, you know, Western culture or, or that idea coming becoming more popular. But happy hour is less popular around the world than I expected. Mm. I'm sure it's in England. Is it, it in England? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's in Itaewon. And it's in Itaewon where there is a large foreign population. But mm. in general, happy hour is just not that thing. Or ladies' night things like those special events mm. um, or a sports bar where you just watch sports. Yeah, mm, it's yeah. those sort of like things are, are a little bit less. Um, but I guess maybe one of the more unique experiences I had at a bar was when they burn the cocktails. It was oh, just coming out. Cool. It's kind of popular now, but it's just coming out and it was these smoky cocktails mm. and they would burn something and put the cup over or burn it and put the smoke into the drink and it was just this whole experience mm -hmm. tasted bad usually <laughs> um but yeah yes i do like a fancy cocktail experience yeah. yeah when there's a bit of a show to go with your drink and on tiktok there's a lot of japanese bars doing the fancy bar experience like it's just, oh, it's just, oh, yeah. yes is it yeah, fl stuff. flaring is it called Cocktail oh, flare. is it? The only flair I know is from Office Space, the um, movie, where they had to put a bunch of pins on their <laughs> uniform. Yes, yeah, I remember mm -hmm. uh, seeing some movies with that in. Yeah. I think that's different. Uh, so, okay, um, do you think mm -hmm. the slapping option, okay. slapping menu service, would be popular in the yeah. U.S.? Uh, 100%, yes. You think I'm so? I'm super surprised it hasn't happened yet. There's an extremely popular grill called Heart Attack Grill, that literally has killed two people, and it's only made it more popular. Whoa, what? Yeah. Uh, he serves the highest calorie possible, um, and if you are above 600 pounds, which is whatever in stone, uh, it would, uh, you eat for free. Right. Yes, or one menu item for free. I don't think you can continue to eat all you can eat burgers, but um, you weigh yourself and like it's a whole big deal and it's almost advertised as someone 
ate so much here, they had a heart attack. Yeah. Oh so a slap is not going to be that extreme. Right. But people are, would love that, I'm sure. When it comes to yeah. masochism, yeah. Americans are ready. It's something. I was like, when I read that, so I was like, I get a slap. That'd be pretty fun. I was walking uh, past a Japanese bar and people are giving money and getting slapped. I'd be like, hey, here's some my money. Well, yeah, what happened? Yeah. Although... Uh, in the article, it did mention maybe it's something about the adrenaline rush. Yeah. That, uh, you know, a sudden sort of shock to the <sighs> system Drink gets more. the heart pumping. Yeah. You, oh, I'm having such a good time. Yeah. Maybe that's the key to it. And if you have to go home and you're still drunk, you'd be like, all right, give me the slap now so I can wake up. <laughs> yes. It might sober you up, yeah, for the journey home. <laughs> cool idea. <laughs> I also heard about... Um, Maid cafes. Oh yeah, I think I've it's a bit. Too. Maybe it's part of anime culture that yeah. often they're dressed as ca maids, but not in the real maid sense. More oh. in the sort of anime maid. Yeah. Uh, I d again, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm probably embarrassing myself because I don't mm -hmm. actually know much about anime. But anyway, it's you have a sort of anime experience with the the little cute girl in the mm -hmm. sort of impossibly cartoonish outfit. Mm -hmm serving you tea and drinks yeah. and uh, and an experience i've heard yes. like it's a whole experience a whole not just tea i would like to try that that sounds cool enter a cartoon world i'm a baby girl <laughs> oh in a baby very different world. than anime <laughs> okay yeah i clearly have no <laughs> idea <laughs> i want the barbie cafe that's what i want okay there we go <laughs> okay Anyway, while I go and dream up the next big thing, which will be the Barbie Cafe in Seoul, come check it out, um, you can check out the machismo oh. of the vocabulary list. Try not to get too cocky and overconfident. Don't get high on your own endorphins, but do enjoy the section. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>